Let's first of all see what's trending in our website, ABS News website. Yeah, we've got lots of trending stories on the website. Uh, first, we'll begin with insecurity. South East stakeholders advocate community policing. Anambra NOA Director Waji Caution Students Pupils Against Cultism Drug Abuse. Anambra Government to sponsor 10 youths and foreign studies in Austria as Digipreneur Week kicks off in Orca. Okay. WASC registration closes Friday, July 27. Anambra Government combats flooding of Orca internal roads through the silting of drainages. At 2019, INEC holds interactive session with stakeholders at Aguata. Well loaded. Yeah, well Okay, loaded. you know we're not going to talk about this alone. So a guest has just joined us so, to help us tackle some of the things. And then look at what the papers are saying today. Yeah. And he is uh, Dr. Clifford Obi, Public Affairs Analyst. Doc, it's good to have you here. Thank you, madam. Appreciate it. Hey, you, you, you're looking very happy this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you have to glorify God every day. Yeah. Whenever you wake up in the morning and find yourself healthy. So you have to be happy. Thank you, thank to God. God. Yes. Many thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. And it's good to have you here. Thank you, madam. Welcome. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You just saw what is trending in our ABS News website. It's security, Southeast stakeholders advocate, community policing. Oh. Maybe we'll just start with that one. Yes. You know, um, security is the most important thing in every community, every state, and every nation. If community policing is implemented, that will reduce the amount of or the uh, risks that the national police takes to cover every part of the states. Community policing helps to establish relationship between citizens and the police and increases the trust the citizen will have on police. By so doing, security will be improved. Mm. Security will be fortified. Okay. And security becomes a norm in, a very, in every community. Mm. Without community policing as the way it is right now, uh, life and properties are at risk. So in essence, you are supporting community police. Yes, I do. I do support okay. police, community police. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Apart from security policing, you know that, um, I mean, community policing, you know that uh, there's this um, uh, uh, bill going on now to uh, give us uh, state police. Um, what do you have to say about that one before we move on? That bill is a very good bill. Okay. In, in the United States, Every, every uh, um, city police uh, has a police. Every county has a police. Mm. Then there are the state police and the national police. All right, um, many thanks for that. Uh, okay, now we're actually going to go fully to the newspaper review this morning, and we will be beginning with um, the newspaper. The Sun newspaper. Mm. All right, um, making the headlines this morning PDP, RAPC team up against Buhari. And that's actually making the, the, the big story in Daily Sun this morning. Under that story, strike deal with uh, SDP. ADC, ADC LP, 34 other parties for 2019 elections to field consensus candidates. Underneath that story, a passenger makes surprise appearance at PDP rally in Ogun State. <laughs> On top of that story, Daily Sun, a new Catholic priest kidnapped, abductors demand 100 million naira ransom. Now, um, and, and, and this disturbing story also, federal government bans tankers, trailers with no safety measures. Okay, NYSC will probe, that's a big one, NYSC will probe Adele Shoes exemption certificate. Now, lots of story making the headlines on the Daily Sun this morning. Mm, and a very important one here too, as the Kitty State are give, getting sent for their global election, two arrested over electro materials printing. printing. Mm. Wow. So which of the stories would you like to look at? Perhaps the big one, the banner headline, yeah. PDP, uh, reform APC, it's team up against Buhari. 
Is it going to work? Is it for our interest or selfish purposes? If they can hold themselves together. Because remember, the Buhari came to power by forming an alliance yes. with other parties. parties okay. And now uh, PDP and other parties are trying to come together to get some muzzles so that they can compete. Uh, well, I want Apuga to, to, to be able to do the same thing. Thank you. So you were saying something about them coming together. If they can hold, you know, hold on fast, then they can actually pull up something in 2019. Mm. Well, that's pro a probability of the... But then that. again, she was asking, was it for, you know, our positivity or mm. was it just for the selfish interest? Well, uh, I think it's for positivity because when parties come together... Uh, um, there will be no uh, very few parties to compete and a power against power will reduce this equation of uh, uh, rigging mm. okay. in my own view okay again I will use the United States for an example you have the Democratic Party you have the uh, Republican Party and some other minor parties okay. but the two major parties uh, uh, the, uh, Democratic Party and, and Republican the Republicans. Party. So they check and balance each other. Let's see. You, we know that this is what we witnessed in 2014. Mm -hmm. SCN joining other political parties to form a big alliance that wrestled power out of PDP. PDP yes. Yes. Would you say they have fared well? Have they fared well? You know, since 2014 till now? Yeah, considering you saying it, it's for positivity because yes. something like that that happened is about to happen again. Mm. Well, it, you don't... Um, judge the book by its cover. Okay. Every um, organization is different. Okay. And the same thing is with political parties okay. or uh, administration. The fact that they uh, maybe people do not are not satisfied in a way with what is going on with the current uh, administration does not mean the future administration will not do better. Okay. Okay. okay, let's look at daily times. And uh, I, there are so many stories making around in all these papers, but uh, we just have to uh, run. Okay. All right, let's see. Um, stories making daily times this morning. PDP and reform the APC. 37 others team up to unseat Buhari. Now, the story is really making headlines. Under that story, form CUPP to field consensus candidate against President. On top of that story, NLC pickets empty and offices nationwide over anti-labor laws. And we're still talking about uh, alleged forgery. Adelshin did apply for exemption certificate. NYSC is actually saying that. A Kitty Guba pool APC PDB clash distracts IGP INEC Pali with parties. And of course, EFC is to mark African Anti-Corruption Day with railed work. Now, lots of stories making the headline. But look at the big story there. 2019 PDP, RAPC, 37 orders. Team up together to unseat um, the president. We're still talking about that. Wow. The, the, uh, on seating the president, you have to show the nation what you ought to do before talking about on seating the president. Mm. Uh, you may not like the president's performance, but some people do like the president's performance. Okay, okay, let's hold it there and look at this alleged forgery, forgery that is coming from a person that is serving in a corrupt finance. free government. Others should did apply for exemption certificate of NYSC. And um, I, you may have heard the story of um, uh, uh, the Minister of uh, Finance, mm -hmm. trending all this way. Yes. That's uh, Amy Adosh on her certificate, NYSC certificate. What do you have to say about that? Forging a certificate is a bad thing. Hmm. It takes away from people who have taken their time to go to school and learn how to prepare themselves for public service. So if you forge a certificate to get a position of power and you are caught red-handed, there's nothing, uh, if the man has, an, uh, has honor, he will do something that people will respect him for. He will resign his position and then co make the corrections. Mm. And no one is perfect. Well, but I think right now, okay, NYS, that's is, exactly what I expect NYS is speaking for her now. You know, a few days ago, it was trending that um, she actually skipped NYSC totally. But today's paper story is saying NYSC says that Adele did apply 
for exemption. And of course, that makes it genuine. If she applied for exemption, a whole lot of people, you know, have the exemption NYC certificate. And this is Nigeria. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. So All the right. next paper. Let's, let's see the next paper this morning, the Daily Independent. Daily Independent. Uh, this keeps making the headlines this morning. Almost the whole paper is the same PDP and the reformed APC, ADC. 36 others sign memorandum of understanding to defeat Buhari and under that story we have um, adopt coalition of United Nation United political parties alliance backs unity presidential candidate the Buhari will lose 2019 election that's coming from Galadima and this is assignment from God says Onyi Lola OBJ courses there make surprise appearance at PDP rally. <laughs> Lawyer drags Actually, minister whoa. to court over <laughs> alleged NYC um, certificate forgery. Now, looking at the story, it's actually really, really, it's getting interesting. What's no, happening? I like us to look at that OBJ appearance. <laughs> yes, that, you know, haven't turned his uh, back PDP card. on PDP. You know, we <laughs> saw him tear his ID card. I mean, his party card. Sorry, mm. and now he makes a surprise appearance at PDP. What message? What are we expected? OBJ is a game ma a political game master. <laughs> he can seem to get away <laughs> or retire from politics. But you know, that's politics to you in Nigeria. Mm. Uh, if you are interested in uh, continue to hang up hang on on power, in, on power, you will do everything to do to, to, to continue to do that. But if you are um, someone that knows when the time is over for you in mm -hmm. service, you become a statesman, uh, elder statesman, and advice from behind. Mm. But uh, you know, Nigeria is what Nigeria is. So we can <laughs> anyway. Okay, before we move on, there's a story on um, this Italy that I'd like us to look at. Proposed franchise uh, may lead to Nigeria's disintegration. And this one is coming from IPOB because the paper said IPOB wants. And I know that recently the Southeast governors gathered in Enugu to say that we don't want any ranches here. We're not going to donate our land for ranches in this place. And if they fail to donate lands, that simply means that's not going to be ranches. Okay, and of and course, that, people are saying that and, and not to forget that, they, that, that you know what's coming that um, from the, the, the presidency mm -hmm. that if you don't donate land, it's better you donate land than die, mm. you know. So, coming from Garba, yes, <laughs> it's, it, is, it is really, really um, um, saddening. It's Who said so. that? No, it no, was actually coming from the, the federal government, you mm. know. They say okay. it's better you, you give your land out mm. than die. You know, basically, he was oh, like, rather, "Will you prefer to die instead, than, of, uh, you know, instead of the land giving the land, land out for ranches?" ranches. Yes. Horrible things. But let's I, see. Is I, this ranch is really a big problem? I think ranching is a private business. Okay. Just like any other business in okay. the world. Okay. Um, cattle ranchers, if they want a land to build their ranch, they should spend money and purchase such a land. Uh, just like. Igbo traders in the north mm. and every other part of the country. When we go, we acquire land, we either lease the land, purchase it to build our businesses. Mm -hmm. So if cattle ranchers want to have ranching all over the country, they should meet with the people that own the land and negotiate. And if they agree, the land. Yes, if they agree, uh, I don't think based on today's constitution that the federal government have the right to force any state, state. to give its right. land for ranching. Okay, not when they have a map out 10 states for <laughs> pilot program. Let's continue. Let's see. All right, let's go to, to the next paper. papers this morning. The Nation. Of course, there are lots of stories there. The big story making the lines this morning 2019 PDP 38 parties from coalition, from coalition rather against Buhari. And under that story, PDM AD, we are not part of the group. It's pure deceit, says Kayamo. And of course, we know who Festus Kayamo is. He's been doing so well for the present government. AKD 2018, I next stakeholders meeting disrupted. Why we are deploying 30,000 personnel by police to arrested for printing electoral materials. Now, on top of that story, the nation this morning, Undo ex-deputy governor's daughter murder suspect hell.
Child. Now, that's a big Too story. Bad. Too Too bad. Bad. Very sad. But story, I, was, I was going through the net yesterday and I saw that story and I was discussing with someone and the person was like, why is the story making the headlines? Because she is a, a daughter of a, of a deputy, former, deputy former governor yes because That's a whole lot of people this has happened to them nobody's mm, talking about it but it's but, true you know like looking so at that many story. children lost their parents simply to yes. killing and all the rest you of them nobody's talking about them and so many parents lost children too okay but this is some um, yeah well, that's when that you have access to power mm. you get preferential treatment, treatment. But okay. overall, it's a very sad story. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, no one deserves to die that way. No one deserves to die. Let's yeah. look at punch. Okay. okay. We'll go. All right. Then um, let's look at the next papers this morning. The punch. Same, same, same. Big story making the headlines. PDP, SDP reform the APC. Thirty-six others form alliance against Buhari. A passenger makes surprise appearance at PDP rally. Now, you can actually imagine what is going on. On top of that story, Adil she applied for exemption, alleged forged certificate on that probe. And a kitty pool, PDP, APC supporters disrupt INEC meeting. Fire me gives fuel to Okada riders. Be neutral, PDP chief tells INEC. Okay, now this one here that said, play to Clark, Fale, Adebanjo, meet Danjuma. U.S. wants killers tried. And um, is on page eight of um, the Punch newspaper. Let's look uh, at that we're one. still talking about the, the, the ritual story. Um, mm -hmm. my, my, my daughter was used for ritual. That's what the the deputy, the former Undo deputy governor, is saying that his daughter was used for, for ritual. ritual. Well, if you want to find more on that story, page five of, of the, the Punch, punch you can get that story. Okay, what is this meeting with Danjima? Like, what is it going to produce for us? And then the U.S. US uh, the plateau crisis. Of, um, well, we continue killers. to go back to time. Mm. Uh, the, the, today, people have new ideas. And the, the issue in Plateau State, as it is today, if Danjuma can produce solution to it, mm. then let it be. But I believe that if the current government can take security seriously in Plateau State, just like in Anambra State as we are right now. People are very happy because the state is secured. Mm. When we started, we talked about security. is the foundation for everything. The herdsmen, the people they are killing, or, and back and forth. Danjuma, a former military man, I don't know what kind of solution is going to give them except coming to a compromise on... <laughs> let's hope he works. Let's, 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 let's hope whatever you know, he wants he to bring to the table. This is self-defense. Okay? Uh -huh. And it didn't go down well with the federal government and all the rest of things. And now people are just, okay, since you know what to do, let's see what I can hear more from you. Yes. We would like to thank you very much for coming thank today. Thank you so much. Anna. That's Dr. Clifford Obi, yes. a public affairs analyst. Thank, thank you so much. Thanks for coming. I'm glad to be Many here. Many thanks for having you. Thank you, sir. All right, that's the more Trick and Dago newspaper review this morning. And uh, just to let you know that we'll be right back for more on Good Morning Anambra. Don't go anywhere.